Uh, Deshant, particularly good to have you here given it is 2017, which means, unbelievably, it is 21 years since that Everest expedition. I can scarcely believe it myself. I mean, when I think back to that time, so many of those memories just are still so fresh and, you know, a movie comes out almost every five years about Everest. And uh, so that kind of just keeps the memory alive. It feels like it was just yesterday. Take us back to 96 and what that expedition was all about. Well, the 1996 expedition was uh, really the first time South Africa ever sent a team of people um, to go and climb Mount Everest. And uh, it was a big surprise to me because I grew up on stories of Everest and I've always assumed that, uh, you know, South Africa had had an opportunity to go to the mountain. I'd always fantasized about climbing Everest myself. So when I saw that invitation in the newspapers, I filled it in and thought, you know, let's see what happens. And uh, I strangely enough got a call to join the expedition. Now, most mountaineers are fairly recognizable. They have big beards and they wear checked shirts and they're <laughs> uh, a little unsociable. Right. Uh, you don't really fit that particular mold. That's a pretty accurate description, actually. <laughs> we do our research um, on the Dunning yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, It is interesting because people are always kind of stunned by the fact that I'm a mountaineer. And, uh, and it is still true that there are mostly European-looking men in the mountains. So when I first started climbing, people would literally stop and I mean this is 20 something years ago, they would stop in their tracks, it doesn't matter how dangerous it is, where you are, whether you're gonna fall, and they'd literally like just, you know, be taken aback by this phenomenon. It was almost like they found the Yeti, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so it was a bit of getting used to, you know, for most people, and I think still, you know, you don't really hear of, um, of women of color being interested in the mountains. So I'm, I'm used to that now. I'm used to having to explain that I am a mountaineer. And is there a desire to go back to Everest? Yes. That was quick. <laughs> <Tough letter. laughs> Is the date in the diary? <laughs> no, the date's not in the diary yet, but you know, Everest uh, has a special place for me because it's kind of always been a mountain that's that's been there in my life. and. Uh, and because I've been there a couple of times, and I, I, I've also taken some people to Everest Base Camp, so you know, Everest just is a recurring thing in my life um, that I don't see why I should give up now.